What's up everybody, Convicted Marketer Lawrence Aponte here. And in this training video, I'm gonna show you guys five different ways that you can scale your Facebook ads. So without further ado, let's just jump right in the training. So whenever you decide to scale your Facebook ads, there's cer there are certain parameters that you should look at before doing so. That way you're not scaling the wrong ads and actually losing money. So one of the things that you should look at should be that you have consistent sales. Okay, so consistency is one of the main things that you wanna look at. Um, you wanna make sure that you're getting consistent sales on a daily basis every time you spend maybe a certain amount of money. So let's say you're spending maybe $10 on an ad and every day it produces two sales. So as long as you're profitable with those two sales and spending $10 a day, and this is consistent for let's say four to seven days in a row, then you can go ahead and scale something like that, okay? Another parameter you can look at whether um, to determine whether or not to scale would be your cost per link clicks. Okay, so obviously the cheaper link clicks that you have, that means the more website visitors that you have. So the more website visitors that you have, the more likely that you'll have conversions or people purchasing. Okay, another parameter that you can look at would be low cost per purchase. So if you're getting very low cost, cost per um, purchase or customer acquisition, that can be another green light for you to scale. And one tip, guys, that you can also do is never scale a loser, right? No, much, no matter how much money you put into an ad, if it's a loser, it's always going to be a loser. So don't put money into a loser because um, you'll end up losing money, okay? So one way out of the five um, is mo one of the most common ways is to basically just increase your ad set budget. Okay, so this is a very easy to do. You can do this in the ads manager and you can simply just um, increase the budget. How I typically like to do it is if I'm running a $5 ad, every two to three days, I'll check to see that I'm profitable and maybe I'll go from $5 to $10 to $20 and then maybe up to 50, depending on how much ROI I'm getting from this individual ad set. Um, also note that whenever you increase the ad set budget, that your cost per, per conversion will rise. This is normal. You're spending more money into one individual ad set, so it will go up. But note that it may drop over time as Facebook continues to optimize on it. Um, one thing to look at when you increase the ad set budget when scaling is that you want to keep an eye on the frequency. Okay, Once that frequency starts getting to 1.2, 1.3 and up, you need to just maybe reevaluate and see um, what, what else may need to be done, okay? Another way that you guys can scale a winning Facebook ad is by duplicating winning ad sets. So me personally, this is one of my favorite ways to um, scale is by duplicating the ad sets that are winning. That way I can control the budget. Um, and basically what I do is I like to just keep everything the same, right? I don't like to change what's working. It makes no sense. So if I'm running an ad to 18, the 35 year old females and it's converting really well I'll just go ahead and duplicate that ad set in Facebook ads manager there's literally a button that will just allow you to do that and I'll just run that same ad and I'll compare it against my original ad which um, goes with saying that cost for conversions tend to be around the same as the original ad maybe a little bit more maybe a little bit less just but it's all around the same so um, that's how you can determine if that duplicate winning ad set will be a winner. And another great thing about duplicating winning ad sets is that you can spread money over multiple ad sets. So instead of spending, let's say, $100 on a single ad set, I'd rather spend $10 on 10 different ad sets so I could get different data at different points. Okay. Number three um, way for scaling a winning Facebook ad is to find new interests to target. Okay, so Facebook actually has a pretty cool feature where you can log in to where you create an ad set and you can start typing in um, certain interests and Facebook will also give you um, auto suggestion interests that you can use. So those are good ones that you can kind of scale out to and test and see what works. And I also actually have a tool that you can use um, called Interest Miner that will actually just mine all the relevant interests pertaining to your um, the niche or the interest that you input. And one thing that you always want to do is test new interests in different ad sets. What, because you don't want to just start putting in new interests into 
um, current ad sets that you have running because the data would be skewed. So always test new interests in separate ad sets so you can compare them against the ones that are working. And one thing that you need to also avoid is um, going too broad. So for instance, let's say you're in the pit bull niche and you're trying to find more interest to, to target, you might want to find other pit bull magazines, maybe pit bull rescues, pit bull shelters, maybe certain pit bull websites that are pertaining to. But one thing that you don't want to target would be something like dog, right? You don't want to go too broad and just target dog because that may not be um, relevant to the audience that you're running. So avoid going too broad when you're finding new interest to target um, with scaling Facebook ads. Okay, another way that you can scale Facebook ads is basically just by scaling out. Okay, and scaling out is basically dissecting your audience in every which way possible. Okay, so you want to try to target them in every which way. And you can do this by breaking down your winning ad sets. So you can actually go down into the reporting section, check the demographics, and see which ages are converting best, right? Which gender, male or female, and which states. So you can literally duplicate the ad sets that are winning, but break them down into the winning demographic. That's a one way of scaling out. Another way of scaling out is by targeting different countries. Okay, this is a great way to scale out. You actually find countries that are hitting gold mines. Um, and ads can be a lot cheaper. CPM will be a lot lower because some of these countries, people are not really advertising as heavy as per se in the United States or Canada or um, Australia, right? So these ads would be a lot cheaper. And it's um, uh, a great um, way. What another thing you can do is just try to target worldwide um, and just kind of hit the whole globe. You know, Facebook is literally worldwide and there's over a billion people on Facebook that you can literally target and if your product pertains to them, you know, you may have um, a winner there. Also note that link clicks can be of less quality because when you target worldwide, you may get your ads distributed in a country where, like I said, ads are never distributed. So you may just get a bunch of link clickers and not a lot of conversions from those. So maybe your link clicks will be of less quality, which means that your cost per visitor to your website will be a little bit less as well. So keep an eye on that. Another way to scale out is by targeting different campaign objectives. So what I mean by that is, let's say maybe you're running just a PPE ad, which is a page post engagement. Well, then you want to scale out into different type of campaigns like click to websites, or maybe you, you want to run some website conversion ads. So if you decide to run website conversion ads, then that's a whole nother optimization that you can do based on view content, add to cart, add payment info, initiate checkout and purchase. These are all great ways that you can scale out and hit your audience in different angles and see what works and what doesn't work. And the final way of scaling um, a winning Facebook ad is by lookalike audiences. This by far is super, super powerful because Facebook will actually make lookalike audiences or find similar people based on your pixel data that you already obtained. Okay, so the more data you have, the better the lookalike audience will be. Like I said, this is these are super, super powerful because Facebook is super smart to take all that data that you've been acquiring and you can literally make audiences of 2 million or more based on these data. Okay, so whenever you do your lookalike audience, note that the 1% is going to be your most similar to that audience and it's probably going to be the best to start with on running your ads. But also test the 2%, the 3%, and so forth. But just know that the 1% is going to be similar. And the type of lookalike audiences that you can make, there's a whole bunch of them. Facebook is constantly rolling out new features and different ways that you can make lookalike audiences. But some of my favorite ones to do are based on past purchasers. So if you have a list of past purchasers that may have purchased your product, you can actually download that list, re-upload it to Facebook as a custom audience, and then you can make a lookalike audience based on that. You can also do this with an abandoned carts. So you can go to your abandoned carts, download those, which essentially those are people that have, have added to cart and haven't completed the checkout um, process. So you can make them based on those. You could also make lookalike audiences based on link clicks of certain products or collections. So maybe people have been going to a certain product that you've been promoting. You can actually make a custom audience based on anybody that visits that certain product. And then you can make a lookalike based on that as well. And you can do that also for the collections. 
And then you can also make lookalike based on people have ever liked or interacted with your page, which is a new feature Facebook has rolled out. And also, if you've been running any type of video ads, you can make lookalike audience based on video viewers. So all of these are super powerful, and I highly recommend testing lookalike audiences and seeing what works. So just to recap everything, guys, um, there was five different ways that we went over on scaling, which was increasing your ad budget, really simple to do, duplicating winning ad sets, which is one of my favorites, targeting new interests and finding those new interests, and then uh, excuse me, scaling out where we were um, finding different campaigns that we can um, scale our campaigns out to, and then also the super powerful lookalike audiences. I hope this video guys helped you out for scaling and remember never scale a loser. If you guys have any questions, feel free to post them down in the comment section. Convict the marketer Lawrence Apollo signing out. Peace.